हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज क्लास आई विल स्टार्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग ज्योग्राफी चैप्टर एट यूरोप नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द क्लाइमेट ऑफ यूरोप एंड द नेचुरल क्लाइमेटिक बेल्स द फाइव क्लाइमेटिक regions and today from page 89 i will start explaining you and we will deal with natural vegetation and wild life let's begin natural vegetation and wild life natural vegetation is a vegetation that grows without human intervention that means the trees the bushes the grasslands whatever you find in this places they grow naturally they are not planted by any human beings it is not like gardening that we plant the trees in soil or the other pots it's not like that they grow naturally and therefore natural vegetation of europe is determined not only in europe in all continents in all places natural vegetation is determined by the different types of climate experienced in those areas natural vegetation therefore depends on the soil quality on the other climatic factors in this chapter we will read about the following types of natural vegetation tundra vegetation taiga vegetation mixed vegetation mediterranean vegetation and steppe grasslands In the fact part you see lichens are used by human as food and dye dye means to prepare some color from this let's start tundra vegetation tundra vegetation consists of the lichens and mosses and the coniferous trees that grow in this area they are not very tall rather they are stunted that means short in size and where do you find this tundra vegetation you see it is written narrow zone in iceland and the extreme parts of extreme northern parts of russia and scandinavia you see and relate this with the help of the illustration that is provided on page 89 there is the index box the different colors are there and beside that it is written which color is used for showing what type of vegetation so purple is used for showing tundra you see it in the map this part northern part scandinavia narrow zone in iceland iceland russia northern part of russia these are the places where you have tundra vegetation tundra vegetation also continues southward in the mountains of norway and this kind of vegetation this kind of trees you will also find occurring at altitudes altitude means height of 1500 to 1800 meter in the alps mountain now why because in tundra area it is extremely cold it is in frigid zone you know it remains frozen throughout the year all those facts you have read in the previous pages of the same chapter so uh, in alps also alp mountain lies here it is not in this region but still at the height at the altitude of 1500 and 1800 meters in the alps you will find this kind of vegetations like mosses and lichens and then stunted coniferous trees because of their extreme height because of the high altitude the um, climate is quite cold weather is very cold over there so on top of alp mountains and northern urals you will find this tundra vegetation though they do not lie in this zone in the coastal areas what type of animals you find you see walruses whale seals and other type of fish and polar bears reindeer arctic fox polar bears you know they have fur they are fur bearing animals why because these areas are extremely cold and fur is there this is a natural adaptation fur is there on their body to keep them warm so this animals fur bearing animals like polar bears arctic fox are found in this tundra vegetation let's 
uh, now read about taiga vegetation taiga region is just the is just south of tundra so taiga is covered with evergreen coniferous trees of soft wood like pine spruce fir all these trees you will find they are coniferous coniferous trees means cone shaped trees with needle like leaves and this shape this specific shape of the tree and their leaves helps them to slide down the snow from their branches and leaves they are conical like this conical in shape so whenever snow falls occur the snow slides down from their branches now where will you find this belt stretches from norway in the west to the ural mountain in the east in parts of norway sweden finland russia you will find this taiga vegetation where is the taiga vegetation in the map you see this green portion in the index box it is written just after tundra it is written taiga so taiga vegetation you find here just the south of tundra now let's shift to the next page page 90 you all pause my video and shift the page please follow the explanation open your book to the page numbers referred in the video and listen to the explanation okay let us start page 90 on top you see now this soft two trees pine cedar all these trees are valuable and are used to make see paper furniture sports goods and matchsticks so therefore as these trees are important for uh, making all these things so lumbering lumbering you all have read in the previous class lumbering is the uh, work of felling trees for some commercial purpose so lumbering is an important activity that you find us in this taiga forest belt wildlife what are the types of animal again here also far bearing because taiga climatic belt is also quite cold so they have the fur bearing animals you will have you will see fur bearing animals mink sable squirrel squirrel all this next you have mixed vegetation mixed forest belt lies south of the taiga and has suitable climate for the growth of deciduous forest trees like beech elm oak all these trees they are all deciduous trees deciduous trees you know they shed their leaves once in a year so these kind of trees you will find in the mixed vegetation belt and it lies south of the taiga so let us again refer to the map which is given on page 89 you see the index a dark green shade is used for mixed vegetation and then you see located in the map this dark green portion you will find mixed type of vegetation the forests are found in western and central europe experiencing west european or marine type of climate you remember maritime climate which get the moderating influence of the sea and therefore they are located in western part of europe mainly and this mixed forest have been cleared to make land for agriculture and settlement this forests are cleared for agriculture for conducting agricultural work and also for settling down the animals that you find in this place is squirrels foxes rabbits deer and wolves next you have the mediterranean region mediterranean vegetation is found in italy south uh, southern france spain portugal croatia serbia and all these places now there is a specific characteristics specific characteristic that you will find in this vegetation natural vegetation of mediterranean mediterranean region what are those due to dry summers the vegetation consists of trees and plants which have long deep roots thick burrs and bushes with small waxy leaves to retain water retain means to store water there is a scarcity of water and because of dry summers the trees feel a scarcity they do not get water easily so the roots of the tree 
needs to go deep down to extract water from the soil. So they have long deep roots and they have the thick burrs, barks and the bushes have small waxy leaves. Why? Because so that they can reduce the rate of water loss from the leaves through the process of transpiration. There is a scarcity of water say so they don't need to lose a lot of water. They want to store water so these natural adaptations are found in the trees of Mediterranean belt. Citrus fruits, citrus means fruits like oranges, limes, they are called citrus fruits. So you will find trees bearing citrus fruits, grapes, olives, figs, oaks and walnuts growing in this region. Then there are some bushes also. Lawrence and lavender, all this you will find in the Mediterranean vegetation belt. The land is used for agriculture and thus has been cleared of its natural vegetation. So the area of this Mediterranean region is also cleared for the purpose of agriculture. And you will find only birds, sheep and wild goat. Wildlife is also very limited. Now let us see the region in the map. On page 89 again, another shade of light green is used, Mediterranean region. See in the index it is written Mediterranean type and this is the place. Next, the last one, you have the steep grassland. The steep grasslands cover Ukraine, Hungary, Romania and stretch between the region Black Sea and the Caspian Sea and this land is very very fertile they have uh, the uh, steps are temperate grasslands you have read in the previous chapter and this region is brought under extensive agriculture crops like barley wheat rye are grown in huge quantity in this steep grassland and what wild animals you find wolves antelopes and horses that are used for domestic purposes so these are the animals that you find in the steep grassland. On page 91, there is an orange color chart. And this gives all the characteristic features of the climatic types, the area that comes under those climatic bells, characteristic natural vegetation, animal life. This is a kind of the summary and uh, the entire chapter is given in a form of a chart in a nutshell, which you can... Uh, read it will help you to memorize you don't have to go through the entire chapter obviously it is required you have to read thoroughly but during exam time or uh, like that for revision you can just read this chart which will help you to know all the facts that are there inside the chapter next page 92 you have the glossary Tundra and Taiga, these things you have to learn as you all have learned the glossary of all the other previous chapters and the exercise answers will be sent in attachment. Thank you for watching and listening. Please do read the chapter, follow the explanation. Thank you.